Hey Google, what's temperature going to be like today? In the villages today, expect a high of 89 and a low of 70. Hey, I want to point out something that maybe a lot of you don't even know. I'm at the Evans Prairie Country Club right now. Um, having lunch. Uh, one of my favorite places is here. I'm starting to get bored with it real quick because they never changed the menu. But I do like Evans Prairie. And this is one of the priority pools. The swimming pools at all the different country clubs. They call them country clubs, but they're really not. You gotta buy a priority membership to be able to use any of these uh, priority pools. And I have actually considered doing that. I don't have to have priority membership at a golf course uh, to get these. You can buy priority memberships at the uh, uh, for swimming pools at country clubs separately. I'm not sure why exactly what the price is now. It used to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like $150 a household per year. So me and Sue could come to all these different clubs and use any of these priority pools. And I actually was going to do that until I discovered something. And I don't know if you guys noticed it or not. And this has been one of my complaints about a community this big, this rich, they can put in million dollar walking trails for everybody, not a hot tub anywhere. No jacuzzi or hot tub, whatever you want to call them. And I've never been in a retirement community around the Florida area anywhere that they didn't have at least one hot tub conveniently located for everybody in it. And here, if you see that little square area over there that's roofed in, wouldn't that be a perfect place to have an in-ground hot tub right there? And that's the reason why I've never bought a membership for the Priority Pools, because I've been to all of them down here, and there isn't a hot tub in any of them. And I can't get a good reason why, other than maybe maintenance. Maybe they've just decided maintenance on them is too high. Hey, everybody. We're out here at Evans Prairie having a late lunch, and a young man here uh, stopped by for his grandmother. He's down here visiting her, and she wanted to uh, get an autograph and um, come over and, and talk to us and whatever. And I said, sure, we'll do that. So we left them with a little bit of a gift down here to go to go give Grandma from us. And we're going to let him have the camera here in a second or two, and he can say what he wants. And he's going to close out one of my videos. Hey there, this goes out to my mom, Maria, and my grandmother, Michelle. I hope you guys are doing great, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye. See you on the other side. Okay, we're leaving Evans, or, yeah, Evans Prairie. We were just talking to a lady about a dog. <laughs> That's a starter shack right there. Oh, there's where you park golf carts. You don't see a lot of people out here right now. I think they're they're getting ready for the rain. We're entering that um, summertime wet season, and it generally rains almost every afternoon. Plus, Sue was saying there's some kind of a tropical storm, I guess, coming in from that uh, once wannabe hurricane. Taking this picture with my new GoPro 10 I got. And what I'm wanting to do is test out the stabilization. I'm hand holding it. I don't have it fa fastened to the golf cart. I'm just holding it and pointing it out the driver's side. My GoPro 7 had really good stabilization in it. The GoPro 10. It's supposed to even be better. It's supposed. To, it's got um, what they call what is it, hyper stabilization. It's also got the built-in microphone. 
on that uh, that mod that you got to buy extra that goes around the camera. I got that. So I want to test the audio and everything on it. It's got a two-way mic on it, the front and the rear, but you have to set it for front and rear or what they call stereo. I tried the stereo where both mics were on at the same time and just like that other mic, it just don't seem to sound right. It, it almost sounds like you're in a barrel kind of like. Here's where you got to be careful around here. It's right there where them cars come through. Nice meeting with a young man that uh, came up to Evans Prairie for his grandmother. Yes. Yeah, for his grandmother. His mother. His grandmother wanted, um, actually, wanted an autograph or something. I'm always kind of embarrassed about that. So what I've done in preparation of meeting him because I knew he's going to be there is I uh, took an early Christmas card that we're going to send out to some of our Patreon members this Christmas with a DVD and um, the ink pens and the flashlight that we're trying to sell you know we get a little money for the uh, Kids Wish Foundation I uh, gave him that in one of our business cards for his grandmother to have in remembrance of our channel I guess, according to him, she's been watching us for quite a while. And we and you guys take a selfie. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to take a selfie, so we took a selfie. It's no big deal. I don't mind doing any of that. I just always feel a little, I don't know, embarrassed by it.